Welcome, 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 welcome to my morning talk, y'all. Good morning. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Listen, listen, listen. I am so, so excited this morning. Listen, y'all. My my glasses is giving me like, it's, it's too much going on up here. But listen, I've been up this morning. Y'all already know I be up so, so early in the morning. I've been up since maybe about 4, 4.30. Oh, uh, <sighs> Y'all know I'm a yarn. I've been up and I've been up and I've been up. I've been doing all sorts of things, y'all. Um, y'all know how I get down. I do so many different things in the morning. But listen, uh, let me tell y'all what is in my spirit today, baby. Listen, y'all better listen really, really close. Listen, God said, this is the year to stop. Listen to me. Stop. Stop. Listen, I wrote down a list. I can't. I don't even know what the list said. I'm going to go off the top of my head. It's so many different things. Listen. I'm I'm gonna speak of my uh, I'm gonna speak for me first. I just was sitting here like thinking like stop 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 overthinking, stop doubting yourself, stop living in the past, stop letting people tell you who you are, stop doubting, stop fearing. It just started coming over me like ah, it just started just coming to me so fast, and I'm like what what what, and I just like. It dawned on me what's going on. The Bible saying that you could do all things through, you could do all things. What do it say? What do it say? Um, it's saying I could do all things through him who gives me the strength. And the Bible also says faith without work is dead, right? So it started to make me feel like I'm standing in a way of my own. I'm standing in the way of my dreams. I'm standing on in the way of the life that I want to live by the way that I'm thinking and I need to stop. So I had to come here to tell you this morning to stop. Stop down yourself. Stop allowing people to tell you who you are. And what I what I mean when I say stop allowing people to tell you who you are a lot of us is in a healing process right now and we are so close to wholeness. So close to wholeness. And in this season, people is going to remind you of who you used to be. They're going to do it. There's no way around it. It's no way around it. People are going to remind you of who you are. But stop allowing that to stop you. Make that be a reason to motivate you to go harder in the direction that you want to go in. Because you are not who you used to be. So stop allowing somebody else's opinion of you to change the way you feel about yourself and get you down. Listen, uh, uh, uh. Stop. This is the season to stop. Stop waiting on somebody to save you. Stop waiting on somebody to come and change um, your life. Stop waiting on him to stop cheating. Stop waiting on her to stop talking to you bad. Stop. Stop. This is the season where you got to stop. Stop, y'all. Listen, I'm telling y'all, if you do not stop, you're going to get stuck in this season right here. Summer has just started. Summer has just started. Fall will be here before you know it. Don't get stuck in this season because you did not stop and allow yourself to be yourself and allow yourself to become yourself. Stop. Like, get out your feelings. Get out of your feelings. Get out of your feelings and stand on what God said. Stand on God's promises. I'm telling y'all, if y'all don't, y'all are going to get left behind. Me too. I'm going to get left behind too if I don't stop. It's a lot of things that I need to stop. I need to stop. I need to stop not going hard. I need to stop. Let me see if I can word it in a better way. I need to stop being lazy. I need to stop being lazy. It's a lot of stuff that I know that I can do that I'm afraid to do because um, of the way I think about myself. So I need to stop thinking about myself some type of way and just get to it. It's so many things that you can stop, y'all. Listen, when y'all see this video, I want you to put in the comments, stop and just keep going. Stop, stop, stop. It may not even be for you, but whatever you hear in your spirit when you when you say or or you hear me say the word stop, comment it. Because somebody may need to hear that. Maybe I'm not hitting all of the right things. I'm just hitting what's coming off the top of my head. Stop letting these kids overwork you. Stop. Stop. Stop letting this job, these jobs overwork you. Stop sleeping so much. What are you sleeping for? You're not even where you want to be at in your life. Stop watching so much TV. Stop drinking. Stop smoking. Yes, this is the season where you have to stop. Stop and do what? Stop and get on your grind, baby. 
Yes. This is a season where you stop. Stop all of the foolishness. Stop it. <laughs> stop the foolishness and get straight to it. The Bible says you can do all things through him who gives you the strength. And faith without works is dead. So you already know you got the strength if you believe. If you're a believer of God, you know that he will give you the strength. Through him, you can do anything. Now, if you believe that, you put your faith with that. And you go for it. I'm telling you, go for it. Faith without works is dead. What you doing? Where's your work? You can sit all day long and say, "Oh, I want to change. I want to be better. Oh, I want to start this business. I want to go to. I want to go to church. I want to lose weight. All of this, you can say what you want to do. But if you don't put no work on it, baby, you ain't gonna change. You is not gonna accomplish it. Periods. Period. You could just think and um and and uh, <laughs> you could think and say paragraphs all day long, but that's not gonna change nothing if you don't put no work to it. Even if you have faith, faith alone is not enough. The Bible says that. Faith without works is dead. Faith alone does nothing. Does nothing for you. It does nothing for your future. It does nothing for your kids. It does nothing for your grandkids. It does nothing for the generation to come. You just having faith alone. You have to do something with that faith. You have to activate the faith. You have to. It's no way. It's no way. <laughs> it's no way. I'm so excited, y'all. I'm so excited this morning. Listen, uh, today... It's the first day of the rest of your life. What are you going to do with this chance that God has given you to make today better? Not even make today better. Forget about making it better. Just making it meaning, 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 meaningful. <laughs> what are you going to do today to make your life meaningful today? What, do, what does that mean to you to make your life meaning, meaningful? I can't even say that word. Is it a word? Am I making it up? <laughs> I don't know, but it just sounds it sound right to me. What are you going to do to make today better than your entire life? It's so many things you can do today that will make today the best day of your entire life. You can do that. Listen, nah. <laughs> you can do that. You have the ability to make any changes in your life that you want to you want to make and it starts with today. Stop overthinking, stop doubting, stop living in the past and stop allowing people to tell you who you are. Stop allowing yourself to tell you who you are. Get in that Bible and allow God to tell you who he created you to be. It's a whole different listen up. Uh, uh, it's a whole different ball game when you know who you are. And then when you find out who God tell you 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 is and it don't add up, then you got to go back and you got you, you to try all over again. But when you dig into the word of God and you allow God to tell you who he created you to be, that gives you the roadmap for your life, for your purpose, for your existence. Because everything that we want ain't what God wants for us. And the Bible also said our thoughts are not his thoughts and our ways are not his ways. So sometimes we be thinking wrong. Right? We got to take that in consideration too. But it's a start today to stop. Just stop. 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 And I'm going to make a few people mad. But I got to. <laughs> because this came to my spirit. Stop putting these relationships before God. Stop. Stop. How is God going to bless anything if you do not put him first? You have to put God before your man, your sneaky link, your baby daddy, your baby mama, your kids. Yes, them too. Your job. You have to put God before everything. Stop. Stop. I'm telling y'all, y'all better stop. 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 Putting things, people, places, and things before God. Stop. God is a jealous God. Don't ever forget that. He's a jealous God. Stop. Stop. <laughs> Today is the day where you're going to stop. Y'all going to hear y'all going to be hearing my voice all day. <laughs> and y'all hear if y'all if y'all if y'all hear this video, y'all going to be saying that girl just kept saying stop. Stop because I'm studying thinking of more things to stop. There's so many things that we need to stop. Stop. Stop, please y'all stop. I'm going to tell y'all what I'm going to stop doing. I'm going to stop saying that I'm going to do this, this, and this, and this, and this, and I'm going to do it. I'm, I'm going to stop saying that. I'm just going to do it. And I ain't even finna, I'm not even going to think about it. I'm just going to do it. That's how serious I am. I'm going to stop saying that 
I'm going to go to school and get that GED. I'm going to stop saying it. Oh, and I'm done with it. Done for. I ain't never going to say it again. I'm just going to do it. It's some stuff that needs to be done in your life. Stop waiting around and saying talking. Stop. Stop talking. You talk too much. You literally talk too much. I'm tired of hearing you talk. You tired of hearing yourself talk, right? Yeah, I'm tired of hearing myself talk. I'm finna stop saying I'm about to do things that I know I should have been doing years ago. Period. And one of those things is being active spiritually. I am more active spiritually, but I am not where I need to be at. I am not where God want me to be at, at all. Period. I'm finna stop desiring to be who God wanted me to be. How about that? <laughs> I'm finna stop desiring to be who God created me to be in the spiritual sense. I'm getting the natural all in order and my, and my spiritual is only probably at 40%. 40, 40%. That's unacceptable. I'm finna stop desiring to do that. I'm gonna get straight to it. Period. <laughs> so what, is you, what do you wanna stop? Do you have a stop in your spirit today? What is God telling you to stop? Do you want to share it with me? Now, if you're not comfortable sharing it with me, you can always email it to me at uniquepresents at yahoo.com. But if you want to be bold, put it in the comments. What do you need to stop? Or what do you hear when you hear stop? When you hear me saying, stop doubting, stop fearing, stop living in the past, stop allowing people to, to tell you who you are. Stop allowing the doctor to tell you what he went to school. This nigga, these, 